hitam dan gue ya, uh, masih ada fotonya di ultra ada ya <laughs> current speed 36 kilometers an hour of course we're just coming out of the station Room temperature, 23 degrees Celsius. Told you the AC was good. Current speed, 110 kilometers an hour. Now we're at 140 kilometers an hour. view <laughs> there's the LRT train that I was on board earlier here comes an airplane coming in for a landing Feels like we're gonna race airplanes today on this train. Now we're up to 177 kilometers an hour. According to all the reviews I saw online about this train, it's very, very quiet inside. You can't really hear much noise. Very little ambient noise from the train itself. You know, my personal opinion, the United States of America needs to buy these trains directly from China. The China is the largest high-speed passenger rail network in the world today. Uh, which is absolutely amazing when you consider that 20 years ago they were still using steam locomotives on the main line of Chinese railroads. 20 years ago steam locomotives were still in revenue service in China. A few of them still are. but. Um, 
in the you know last 20 years China's developed the world's largest high-speed passenger rail network and it, it's growing every year and this train is an example of China's export of that technology to other countries <laughs> this is actually the first high-speed rail line outside of China to be built using completely with Chinese technology, the Chinese trains, the Chinese company came in here, they did the railway line, the trains are made in China. So you can go to China and ride the high-speed trains or you can come to Jakarta, Indonesia and this is the exact same type of train that's operating on the high-speed network in China. The hope is that this line will eventually extend all the way to Surabaya and the travel time will be cut down from over eight hours to just over three hours between Jakarta and Surabaya. Currently, the line only extends to Bandun. Current speed, we're back down to 149 kilometers an hour. We will, of course, hit 350 kilometers an hour, but we're not there yet. We have to be outside of the city limits, this built up areas. One of the reasons for that is the sound. <laughs> I guess people don't really want the train right next to them, you know, flying by at 350 kilometers an hour. It does have some noise involved for, you know, people outside, of course. Inside, it's very quiet. We're finally above 200 kilometers an hour. Now we're going at 208. I feel like I'm cheering on a sports team or something, you know? Go team, we can do it. Come on train, you can do it. Wow, the LRT comes out further than I thought. It's amazing the rail network in Jakarta, Indonesia. There's so many trains here, there's so many train routes. I mean, for somebody like me who's a rail fan that loves trains, I'm gonna be honest, this is kind of like, um, this is like the train lover's paradise maybe of Southeast Asia. I've been on the trains now, I've been Vietnam. And here, now this is Indonesia. And I've been on the trains in Malaysia, Thailand. I took the train before from Kuala Lumpur to Bangkok when you could still take the sleeper train. They don't have a sleeper train anymore between Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok, unfortunately. So I'm very happy I took it years ago when I had that chance. 268 kilometers an hour. So now our speed is really starting to come up. Whoa. Two hundred eighty five kilometers an hour. We're just flying past the cars on the highway. You can see it looks like they're barely moving. They're going at a good clip of speed. There's no traffic jam where they are. Us VIP, they bring you drinks and stuff in here, like little snack boxes. Two hundred and ninety three kilometers an hour. We're literally flying down the tracks at 294 kilometers an hour. The doors are automatic. They slide open and closed.
Thank you. And there's the, you get a water and a meal box. Thank you. It's a snack box, actually. I think it has a cake or a bread inside. Oh, yes. Holland Bakery. That's very nice. Now we're going 295 kilometers an hour. Now we just broke 305 kilometers. We just broke the 300 kilometer an hour speed barrier. 306 kilometers an hour now. By far this is the fastest train I've ever been on at this point. I've never been on a train in my life that's gone this fast. And I've been on a lot of trains, my friends, but I am always take those conventional slow trains. It is, that's my, you know, it's just my luck. Usually I prefer the slow speed trains. Now we're at 323 kilometers an hour of speed. We're getting close to our top speed of 350 kilometers an hour. 327 kilometers an hour of speed. We still have another 23 kilometers an hour to pick up. 332 kilometers an hour. Three hundred and thirty nine kilometers. So, currently, the high speed railway uh, going from Jakarta to Bandung. So now we're at three hundred and forty four kilometers an hour, which is over two hundred miles an hour, actually. And behind me, I just like some of the city. So, three hundred and forty seven kilometers an hour. It's quite beautiful and quite spread out. Oh, 346 kilometers an hour. Very little vibration inside the train, very little sound. Interesting to see that we have security officers on board, which is good to know that they have on board security just in case it's needed. I don't think so ever, but hey, you never know. Better safe than sorry. 348 kilometers an hour of speed. We're almost to the very top speed. We're looking for 350. At 348, looking for 350 kilometers an hour. Sorry, that's a joke about the auctions online. kilometers an hour. It's about just around 216 miles per hour. Yeah, 